Hey guys, um, it's been a minute. We've not had, um, we've not done any videos. So this is a, an account, one of my accounts that I withdrew everything because I needed some money. And um, I've decided to do some test runs with a new board, some, some board I have here. And I've seen it's performing well. So I, I want to assume, uh, let, let's try and uh, and see how it's performing. Now, this one, I'm going to use a virtual account. I'm going to use a virtual account. I'm going to use a virtual account to do some test runs. We see how it's performing. Uh, let me just uh, load it. Let me just load it so that uh, we can see all the bridesmaid. The bridesmaid. Okay. So this bot uh, has it does digit differs. Digit differs. And uh, prediction is last digit. So I'm, I'm going to use something. I've, I've added some character here called a split martingale. Split martingale is where this martingale of 11 is split into the number you choose. Now this time, I want just to split it into twice. In case we have a loss, the martingale should not be done once, but it, it should be done twice so that uh, we minimize the chance of blowing an account. Now. Uh, since this is a virtual account, uh, the reason I'm going to use I'm going to use a small stake of two dollars is that I want to to give myself a feeling of what would happen if it was a real account with maybe let's say a hundred dollars or somewhere there. So stake based on how much you have in your account. So if you have a hundred dollars, stake you can stake five. Let's let's use five. Uh, five dollars five dollars uh, our target is um <coughs> stop loss is there is a uh, let's make our target to be fifty dollars and see how much time we're going to use to make our fifty dollars now this is a virtual account don't be mistaken invalid during uh, duration What's happening here? Fail duration. Let's let's run the bot once again and see. <coughs> Maybe there is a mistake somewhere. Oh, let's see. If you find that you're trying to run a bot and it doesn't fail duration input, oh duration input. So you can simply load the bot. I can see the duration is saying uh, not applicable. So let's just load the bot once again. It's called the bridesmaid button. So I think, uh, yeah, it's loaded uh, okay now. So we can see our profit is $50. Our stake is uh, $5, stake is $5. Martingale to be split into two times so that we minimize chances of uh, of blowing our account. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this account has around a hundred dollars. So hundred dollars. Let's let's make this. Uh, let me just remain the same. See how much time you're going to use to make our fifty dollars. Let's see how much time. Now, what it does, this bot, uh, the prediction is not a specific number. The prediction is the last digit. So it looks at the last digit and it purchases. Uh, le let me give you the graph. Though the, uh, the graph is not important here, but for purposes of uh, uh, learning, I also need to have uh, the graph this other side. 
So uh, we are looking at the last digit here. It's also being displayed this other side. LDP is the last digit prediction. Now it purchases a different number, the five, uh, which is not zero. It, it looks at the last digit here. So either here, we can take this uh, dotted line here. The last digit is what like here is four. Uh, we saw this other side, it was four. Now it purchases a different now how I, I was uh, I wish to have a instead of multiplying the stake by eleven, it split this into eleven times five is fifty five. So it does twice. So this plus this is a uh, fifty five. So uh, that way it after it has recovered, it goes back to uh, the initial stake which was five. If it makes another loss, it again purchases uh, the stake uh, with a martingale times 11 divided by 2. So you decide how many times do you want your stake to be split so that you can have uh, like an easier um, time while trading. So that it doesn't, for example, if you lose twice, especially for this kind of uh, bot, that's when you find that you are losing. Digit differs is, is yes, it's going to give you a lot of wins. You're going to see so many greens, uh, but one loss will really drag you behind because you lose a hundred percent, but you're earning close to ten percent, nine point nine percent of your stake. So that way, it means for you to recover, your martingale has to be over ten, close to eleven or twelve times of your stake. But if you, even if you, you have your stake as um, 12, then you split it into twice. It means it's going to purchase twice. It will purchase times 6, times 6, then it will go back to the initial stake. So uh, this kind of book, uh, it doesn't really give you so many losses because uh, the prediction is random based on the last digit. It looks at the last digit and does a prediction for that. So let's see, our target is $50. Let's see how if it, we are going to hit the target or we are going to hit our stop loss. And stop loss in this case is $100. So, for example, if you want to know how many times you are going to, uh, the likely, uh, the, the number of runs you are going to make, uh, this is how to calculate. Uh, let's, let's get our calculator here. Okay. So I want to show you um, how to tell the number of runs you are likely to make now. We are making a 0 0.49. Our target is $50. But per run, you are making 0 0.49. 0 0.49. Based on our stake, 0 0.49. So for us to make our $50, we should make, 103 runs. Now, those are wins. Consider having losses, uh, which are not going to be a lot of them. So maybe uh, let's have uh, like um, maybe 15, 15 to 20. So around 122 runs, that's when you're going to make uh, your $50 if you are staking $5. If you were staking low, we're going to have uh, a more runs if you target the same amount. So uh, let's go back to our board. Not that this one. We are at nine dollars with only two losses. Uh, those are twenty-three runs. So you can see this kind of a board is going to give you a lot of wins. You're going to experience so many greens, different from six. That's a win. Predicts based on the last digit. So this is um if, if you have a small account, you can stake 0 0.35. If you have a big account, you can stake whatever amount as long as it's in your account and you are ready. Then you also uh, the stop loss, these two parameters, stop loss and take profit are working perfectly. 
and the split martingale is also working perfect. So you can have this as 12 and this is as 2, but the default setting is 1, so that it just does the martingale once. But the reason I'm splitting this into 2 is because we have people with small accounts, so, so that the martingale doesn't go directly to 11, then in case you you, you get two consecutive losses, it has another 11. Uh, if, for example, you had an account of... Um, this is how to know if your account is safe or not safe. Now, we've known how many runs, close to 120, factoring in 20 losses. Now, this is how to know if your account is going to be safe. For example, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's clear this. For example, uh, you have an account of $100 and you are staking, uh, let's say, 2. If your martingale is times 1, you're going to multiply this by 11. It goes to 22. If you recover, your account is safe. But let's say you have two consecutive losses times 11. You need $242. Mark you, your account had 100. So you've already lost the first two that you had uh, put as your stake and the 22 that was trying to recover. Because now this way, the bot is going to stop because you don't have $242 in your account if your account had $100. You get. So you're going to have, uh, you will have lost $24, uh, 2 and 22. Now, maybe you had made, uh, by the time you are, you are getting the double losses, maybe you had gotten something like $5. So you're going to end up in negative, let's say, negative 70, negative whatever amount, based on how much you have made before you get the double losses. Now, let's factor in uh, the chance where you have double losses with a split martingale. Double losses uh, with a split martingale. Uh, this way, uh, it means if you ha you had 2 times 11, it should go to 22. But now it's going to be split twice. So it won't go to 22 directly. It will go to 11. So we are going to do a plus. I hope you're getting me. Because, uh, yes, it should buy 11 instead of 22. It will do times a uh, 2 times 11 divided by 2 which comes back to 11 so we are getting plus 11 here which goes to 13 now if it wins fine it's going to go back to 2 if it loses now the new loss the new loss is 2 plus 11 which comes to 13 right goes to 13. Now, if you have lost that amount, the 11 one, so it will look at this figure times 11 uh, times 11 it goes to um, whatever figure. Now it's going to divide this by 2 so that your new buying price is 71. You get it's you, you are still in that bracket of a hundred dollars. You had lost two, then you lost 11. Now, then to recover, it's going to buy 71 and it will do this twice. It will buy 71. If it's going to be a recovery, you're going to buy another 71. So that now you recover everything and it goes back to two. If you had an account of $100, you see you are still in the market. And you can choose the number of how many times this split martingale is going to perform. You can do twice or three years, depending on how you want it. So, uh, let's see. You can. Uh, what I'm explaining is uh, in, in this instance, if you are using two, you see, it's go instead of going directly to 75, sorry, to 55, it's splitting it into twice. So that your account is still safe. And when it loses, once it, it, it has, it, it does two times, it multiplies this by martingale. Martingale is 11, then divides by 2, and divides twice. 
after it recovers, it goes back to the initial stake. So chances of blowing your account are very minimal. And you can choose as to how many times this martingale is going to be divided so that you get uh, what, what are you looking so that you get uh, a safe trade. You can decide to do three times, four times, or whatever um, a number of times you want. But um, uh, two is considerably fair because you also not markets for too long if you have a bigger number of uh, the the number of splits it also means it will go that number for it to recover and go back to now start making profit the three times is just to recover what is lost so you're not making profit when it's doing the recovery uh, that's why one is okay but one is not safe for a small account if it you get double losses especially for this kind of a uh, trade because you know if something is uh, taking a hundred percent and it's paying you ten percent uh, a recovery process should also be very uh, technical so that it can be able to maneuver through so far um i don't know if i, I should wait to the point of making the 50 dollars or what but i, I just wanted uh, you guys to get a test of this bot. Uh, this uh, it's that's digital difference. This is one of the finest bots around, especially now incorporating the split martingale that is going to be looking at safeguarding your accounts. How safe are your accounts? How to take care of those accounts so that you don't blow? That's a loss. I, I wish you got double losses so that you get what I'm I'm trying to explain. But this bot rarely gives you double losses. I'm not saying you won't see losses, you will see losses. But I'm saying you won't see double losses. It's very rare, very rare to get double losses. But you know, at trading, there are no guarantees in this life. I will tell that to people. There are no guarantees in this life. So nobody should ever sit down and tell you that this is a win 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 guaranteed but no sometimes it depends on the market conditions sometimes it depends on your phone the oh sorry not just phone the gadget how fast is the gadget it could be a laptop a tablet or a whatever a gadget you're using how fast the the gadget is number two, three how fast your internet is and now lastly the settings of your gadget i realized there's a lady from tanzania uh, called lisa the, oh sorry in fact what i want to explain is just here now depending on your location depending on your location where you are located right now or not necessarily right now while you're watching the video where you are located while you are watching, you are trading, I mean. You should make sure the date and time. This thing here, date and time is correct according to where you are. For example, I'm in Nairobi, Kenya. And in Kenya, our time is uh, GMT plus 3, plus zero, uh, 300. Zero. So if, for example, I change the time of my of my laptop right now and have it as a different, uh, what, a different date or timing here, or maybe the GMT is wrong, it's, it will give me very incorrect trades here. I realized when she bought, uh, the, she, she purchased the bot, uh, since she had come from China, uh, sorry to explain so many things about her, and uh, I hope she doesn't mind. Uh, she, uh, her, uh, her timing here was plus 0800 GMT. On the time here, it used to add some 0 point something, 0 08. And the bot was malfunctioning because the timing was wrong. So when you are trading, also make sure that the time of your gadget is right based on your location 
that way it's going to affect you. you might find that someone is trading like i'm trading here i'm in nairobi which is uh, the plus g uh, gm gmt plus 0300 is correct based on my location but when uh, you get the bot you trade but this one is wrong based on where you are it will give you wrong outcomes different outcomes and you might think maybe this person gave you a wrong bot or something no nobody's out here trying to sell things that are not right to his or her clients no it's only that you you um, you also need to set the gadget to the right timings. So I think uh, you can see out of 58, we have seven losses. We have let's have it, let's close it at 70, uh, 70 runs and see. Let's close it at 70. Yeah, now this one staying in the market for too long will give you issues. Let's see how, how we are going to recover. Remember, our loss is one seven. Is uh, our stop loss is a hundred dollars. But in this case, if you had an account of a hundred dollars, you will have problems. So don't stake too high, especially when your martingale is eleven. Don't stake too high. But uh, you've seen there's no point we've had double losses. So if you find that uh, the, uh, the bot is not giving you double losses, you can have the martingale done once. Double losses is where I mean this is a loss, this is a, the next one is also a loss. Those are double losses. Not two losses in the whole trade, no. Double losses or consecutive losses, let me call them consecutive losses. One, two, let's say this is a loss, this is another loss, next, just after. Now, if you are trading and you find that your board starts giving you losses close to each other, maybe you've had these a loss, loss. Uh, maybe you have had a re recoveries and trades here. You should always exit the market. You should always exit the market manually because it's not a must you hit your goal. Focus on what you've made here. Focus on what you've made here. When you started the trade, you didn't have the $33 here. So waiting, because our target is $50, Waiting for the seventeen dollars to make it now it's sixteen to make it um, fifty can cost you this plus what you had in the account before you started trading. So be very careful when you are trading and uh, maybe you start seeing these uh, losses coming close to each other. That is like a warning sign. For me, I always tell people run because this is not your market. Come in, take whatever you can take and leave. So. You can stop the market manually. But there are those moments when uh, you have it this way, then the market starts giving you so many wins. And then you wonder, what if I had left? I would not have gotten this. Number two, you are not assured if it's going to be a, a positive turn. So also, you be vigilant. Or you give yourself, now for example, for me, I can tell myself, okay, let me let it run to whatever point Whenever it makes the first loss, I just leave the market. You just put your, your cursor there and wait. When it makes the first loss, don't even give it a chance to make another purchase. That's also another way of doing it. But for me, I always, whenever I've gotten, once I, I go past two-thirds of my target, I don't stay in that market if it starts giving me issues. Because at the end of the day, we are not looking at what you've made in one trade. We are looking at what you've made in the uh, uh, cumulatively. Maybe you've made five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. If you add the total, you find that uh, in a day you close with maybe fifty dollars or somewhere there, which is safe, which is okay. So better if you, even if you want to make twenty dollars, you can make two dollars, two dollars, two dollars per session. This is what I was saying. So you can see my, my advice is not in vain. So make the little you can and get out of the market. And get out of the market. So as staying there for long, you're going to incur this kind of, um, this kind of scenarios that if we had stopped the bot, you can easily evade. You can see, easily avoid 
Now, even if this happens, and uh, let's say you've made, uh, before it makes another purchase of 178, you have $24 here. You can choose to stop there so that it doesn't buy another 178 because you don't know what will happen with that 178. If it goes to be a loss. So uh, I'm giving you tips on how to manage your account. I'm not saying uh, this is uh, the scenario that you're going to experience. But I'm giving you scenarios where you can get out of the market safely without you having to undergo those breathing problems. You know, when you're trading on a real account, there are times you breathe as if you are in the ICU. You breathe as if someone is uh, uh, pinching you or someone is holding your breath, which is okay because you are in business. Yeah, you see, these are the kind of scenarios I tell you to avoid. Don't stay in the market for too long. Because if this was a real account, now you see, exactly what I told you guys. Now, it's good it has happened so that you see my advice. Now, let's see how much now this person has closed the market with. Negative 165. To whom are you going to cry? So, my advice is, because these are things people don't tell you when they want to sell bots to you. They, they know if they tell you the truth, you will run. You won't buy new bots. But I'm not here to scare you. I'm not here to, like, to make you do things you don't want to. But just, I'm sharing what I usually do. If we had stopped this bot when it was at 34, we were closing the market in a positive um, profit here. But since, uh, I, I think I had predicted this, since we wanted the $17, $16, or maybe we, there's a point where you even got to $40 here. But we said we have to go. We have to go and make all the money. We have to make $50. So one, uh, things to avoid. One, avoid staying in the market for too long. You can make 50 runs. Number two, don't stake too high with a high expectation. Sometimes you go into the market, maybe you're staking 0 0.35, and you find that the market is paying, like you're having so many wins compared to losses. Maybe you're, you, you've gone to 27 runs, all are wins, and you decide, let me stop this board and go back, then adjust the stake to a bigger amount so that I can make more. My friend, the moment you do that, it's like the, the system has, I was just waiting for you to do that. It will hit you big. In fact, you always start with losses. I don't know why. At the moment you go, you stop the boat and go back and adjust the stake and run. You always find that the first five runs, you'll find that maybe you've gotten two wins and three losses. Now, this is the reason. The entry spot, the entry point of the time you started the first trade where you had a small stake is different from the entry point where you are starting uh, the, the, to run the boat while you have a big stake. So understand, entry points also matter. You could be trading, I could be trading the same boat, the same strategy, the same time, but my entry point and your entry point are different. You could be making money, you're making profits, and me who is using the same same bot the same time, I'm making losses because of one, our entry spot will never be the same. Even if you say click and you click at the same time, there's always that difference of entry point of, of the time the bot starts running. It could be a, a factor of how fast my internet is or how fast my gadget is because the market uh, at that point is not too different but those are factors that will either make you win or make you lose now you understand uh, why uh, i was recommending once you've made some amount here run number two instead of targeting let's say uh, let's go back here uh, instead of targeting 50 you can split this 50 into different uh, number of times. Like, okay, my target for the day 
is fifty dollars. And if now we go back to our calculator here, uh, we, we've seen how people lose and how people gain. Now, uh, let's say in a day I want to make fifty dollars based on how much I have in my account. So instead of me making this fifty in one session, I can divide this into different sessions. Maybe I do five dollars per session. There you have it. So it means for me to make my fifty dollars in a day, I will need to run the bot ten times. Now uh, let's look at uh, how easy or how how hard it is. Let's say this uh, this uh, bot of mine, sorry, this account of mine has sixty two dollars. Let me just concentrate on the last sixty two dollars here. It only has sixty two dollars. So for me to make some money using the same bot, maybe. I cannot stake five because of uh, what I have in the account. Maybe I'm going to stake zero point uh, what? Let's see how much. Uh, let's take one dollar. And now uh, with our one dollar, let's let's have this uh, gone because that that was a class. You are learning something. Now I want not fifty. I want uh, how much? Sorry, not profit. Here is supposed to be five. Then here should be one, and the win stake should also be one. So I want to make five dollars per session, and I will have ten sessions in a day. There is no limit as to how many sessions you can have in a day. That is number one, and there is no limit as to what you can target in a day. But are you doing it? Uh, with some goal I, do you have a plan for your trade or are you just pressing because you see people on the internet they press they make money they with the throw are you doing that so uh okay i've not changed stop loss because now let it be let's let's run this bot and see or any other Wh whichever bot you are using just make sure Let's see how much time you're going to use to make five dollars. Then you do that ten times in a day. Even if you target two dollars and you do it twenty-five times, nobody is going to question you as long as you you are safeguarding the little you have in your account. So our our target is five dollars. Once we hit five, the, definitely the bot is going to stop. Let's see. Just taking one. How much time you're going to take uh, to make? make our our five dollars how much time because uh, uh we are making 0 0.09 so you, you you come to your calculator don't have more than 50 runs come to your calculator five divided by this is how to do it 0 0.09 uh we're going to have close to 50 let's say 60 runs so that that's still fair uh, uh, factoring in losses, so maybe six runs. Uh, with six runs, the bot will still be functioning well. The bot will still be functioning well. Past that, past 50, 70, 90, there, that's when you start finding issues. That's when you start finding issues. So let's see how much uh, time you're going to have. So uh, sometimes you, you start the, the trades and you find that you're not making losses. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Like so far we don't have any, any losses. But the other one was okay until we stay, we overstayed. Let's see how this is going to behave. So make $5. Five dollars uh, per session. Five dollars per session for ten sessions in a day. Uh, that's uh, how to get to fifty dollars in a day in a very simple way. And if you're making fifty dollars a day, I don't think if uh, there are government officials. Our employees, let me use this uh, example of these people 
working in government employment, like, um, let's say, teachers, um, shop doctors, uh, or even MCAs. $5,000 per day. $50 is, uh, let's, let's see, in Kenya shillings right now, if you are in Kenya, let's see how much 50 USD is, 50 USD to Kenya shillings. That is 6,250 per day. Uh, 6,250 per day. And you are trading for 30 days. You are trading for 30 days. I'm very lazy. I like copy pasting. I don't know why this is not pasting. Okay, let's see. Six thousand five. How much was it? Sixty two fifty. Sixty two fifty. Sixty two fifty per day times. Uh, let's say you don't have maybe um, times twenty days. Of course, you'll trade Saturday and Sunday, but let's just exclude Sunday. So you're you're doing twenty. Four days, twenty-four days, one hundred and fifty thousand Kenya shillings. Not tax. That is net. You file nil returns. <laughs> That's on you with your government. You file nil returns. Then you stay in a maybe a one bedroom somewhere worth ten thousand, ten to fifteen thousand. Main with um close to now let's say bills house rent plus water plus electricity plus you take twenty thousand for example this person is a single person just staying in even if you you are two of you twenty thousand in a one bedroom or somewhere still okay now you remain with one hundred and thirty thousand first thing what you do because you are trading. You need uh, the twenty thousand has Wi-Fi on it, has everything. Twenty thousand, one thirty thousand, remaining as uh, your uh, as money. What can you do that with that? You take thirty thousand. You save a hundred k. Thirty thousand. You can add some amount into your account if you want to. If you don't. You can you can let it be. What can you do? What can you budget on? Thirty thousand. You can buy something nice every month. You can save. You can you can do so many things. So guys, this is not something that uh, you come here with a grid. Come here with a, an open mind. Not that it's a business. You can see we have twenty six rats, no loss. Now the question is, why is it that when you are staking five, we lost, and when you are staking one, we are winning? So then go for the small amount. So it's not about the amount you are staking. It's also about what time we have started the board. So like you can make so many runs. I, I wish to, spot this, uh, to stop this board here because I've already given you the logic of what to do, what not to do, and everything, any other thing. So maybe we can stop there, but don't stop while it has purchased. Because if it ends up with, in a loss, it will be a loss. There's no way you're going to recover that, but I hope this is going to be a win. Whichever way, because this is a virtual account for training, so doesn't really harm. But treat it as if it was a real account where you have emotions. Because uh, once you stop it and it has already purchased its in between buy succeeded, it will complete that transaction. Whether you switch off your data whether you do what, that transaction will complete, whether it's a loss or a win. So always let it stop it while it's, it has completed it somewhere here. Don't let it purchase. It will have to complete either a win or a loss. And you can see we have had 29 runs, all are wins. So you can let the bots and come back and make another two dollars two dollars two dollars two dollars that's how to trade and uh, any questions
uh, you're going to reach out to me. Of course, you uh, some of you have my number. On uh, I'll leave my number on the uh, description. Also, uh, remember to subscribe to this channel. I've not asked you to subscribe ever since I started sharing this stuff. So subscribe, get these skills on any other stuff that you need about binary trading. For me, switching from automotive engineering to network marketing now to binary trading has been a transition of years. Uh, that's from 2015 to 2020. I was doing network marketing. I went into blockchain technology a bit. Then I switched to binary trading. And this is what I, uh, I think I will do uh, for the longest time because one, I don't have to struggle uh, referring people for me to earn a commission. I don't say network marketing is bad or wrong. No, it's okay. But sometimes you find that people at the top of the ladder make the most amount of money because they have teams under them who are working. But here there's nothing like who joined when and who does what. It's about one, are the skills. Number two, the person you meet to guide you in this business because some will guide you well, some won't. People are different. Number three, uh, how much you have in your account also matters. Let nobody lie to you that uh, you'll load ten dollars in your account and then make as much money as someone who is uh, trading with the uh, ten thousand dollars. If, for example, both of you decided to make ten percent of your account, the one with ten thousand dollars will make a thousand dollars, which is ten percent of their account. You, with your $10, 10% is $1. So if you're making $1 and another person is making $1,000, you're not in the same league, but both of you are making 10% of your accounts. And I'm not saying that if you have a, a small account, you should not trade, no. Only, the only thing you need to do is don't uh, overimagine things. Don't compare yourself with other people. Just be in your league live within your means and one day you never know along the way you might get where they are people we have different blessings and they come at different timings so don't be desperate because if you bring your desperation in this kind of business you are going to lose if you take your school fees and you want to trade with it so thinking that you're going to make as much money as those people you see sharing on your WhatsApp status, you might end up losing it. So risk what you can afford to lose because there are those moments that we do lose, only that people don't post when they lose. So I will, I will leave you with that. I, I think uh, this is a video that whoever will watch it to this point will understand. I know some of you watch, then you live in between there and uh, it's okay. But for me, I always try to listen to the words. For me, it's not about the trades there or you are trading on a virtual account or what. That's on you. Whether I'm trading on a virtual or a real account. For me, what, what matters is the information I'm giving you through the audio. Listen. Don't even watch. Don't even watch. Listen to what I always say. And you're going to learn one or two things. I'm not the best teacher in this. But the little knowledge that I know has helped me big time and that's why i always try to share because i know when i started nobody was there to share with me so i was thinking i bless my subscribers with this bot and i deliberately didn't say this to the end of this bot because i know some of you will come oh sir i want this bot now uh, last time i said there was a coupon there was none i just wanted to see if people can follow instructions now this is the coupon the coupon code is four zeros just send me four zeros and say you've watched the video i'm giving you this bot for free four zeros zero 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 in fact should they be three because three is my like number okay coupon code is three nothing else coupon code is three just three so come and say you have the coupon code which is three because three is my lucky number uh, that's why I, I happen to have so many things in trees, including my phone number and so many others. So, guys, come. 
have the bot. This one I'm going to give it for free. It's called the Bridesmaid. I'm going to give it for free. Test it, enjoy it, make the money grow together. And for that, enjoy your day. Remember to subscribe. And uh, that's all for now. So let's switch off this.